Hi, I'm Aditya from Streamex. In this video, we are going to discuss about different biomass fuels from Indian perspective. The first biomass fuel that we are going to talk about is biomass briquettes. The biggest problem with the loose biomass fuel is its lower bulk density due to which it becomes difficult to store, transport and use that as a fuel. So biomass briquetting is a process of densification of biomass where we increase the bulk density of the biomass. So the idea is if we increase the bulk density, we could increase the uh, handling and storage of that fuel. Biomass briquetting is a process where the loose biomass fuel is densified into a shape of a log. Biomass briquetting can be done by different methods. Two of the most commonly used methods are screw press method and piston press method or what is what is also called as ram and die method. In India, majority of the briquette is being produced by piston press method. This briquetting can be done with the use of additional binders or without any additional binders as well. In high pressure technologies, there is no binder that is required. The lignin which is present in most biomass is fused at high temperature and pressures which act as a natural binders in these briquettes. So almost all the biomass materials which contain this lignin can be briquetted without any use of additional binders. So some of the examples of biomass which have good natural uh, lignin content are uh, sawdust, uh, groundnut shell, mustard straw, uh, paddy straw, all of these materials are very high in lignin content. Those biomass which does not have uh, good lignin content naturally, they either have to employ additional binders or they can be briquetted with other materials which are higher in uh, lignin. So briquetting offers lot of benefits when it comes to biomass uh, as a fuel. First is it improves the bulk density of the fuel. So the uh, bulk density of loose biomass may be somewhere between 100 to 200 kg per metric cube. Whereas for the briquette, it ranges between 450 to 600 kg per metric cube. This helps to uh, improve the storage and uh, handling of the biomass fuels. Also, it lowers down the transportation cost of the biomass. So this is one of the major challenge when it comes to using the biomass. The transportation is often the major cost uh, when it comes to procuring the biomass. So biomass briquetting can help you to lower the transportation cost as well. And the third advantage that we get with the briquetting is that it also improves the combustion performance of the fuel. The loose biomass can burn very quickly, which can cause problem in controlling the combustion parameters in boilers or furnaces. So briquetting slows down the combustion process. In India, there are a lot of briquette manufacturers present all over the nation. You know, it is not a difficult thing to procure biomass in India right now. Uh, uh, the process basically started in 2000s and since then uh, there has been uh, a tremendous growth in the number of biomass manufacturers or briquette manufacturers all across the nation. Just to give you an idea about uh, Steamax experience with biomass briquettes, when Steamax was started, biomass briquettes were the primary commodity that we were trading in. So uh, over the last few years, our team has experience of converting many oil fired or coal fired boilers to briquette as well. Uh, our team has worked with companies like PepsiCo, Britannia, Coca-Cola, etc. and have converted them from, from fossil fuels to biomass briquettes. There was a time when we were supplying around 200 to 300 tons of biomass briquette every single day. So it's safe to say that we have ample of experience working with biomass briquette. While working with biomass briquettes, we were able to identify certain drawbacks of biomass briquettes as well. So the first drawback is the transparency in its constituent. So as the number of biomass briquette manufacturers have been increasing in the nation, the competition is also increasing in the market, right? And when it comes to procuring the biomass fuel, the Procurement cost is often the most important factors from the customer's perspective. So most biomass briquette manufacturers are struggling to keep their briquette cost lower than the competition in the market. So to keep their costs low, briquette manufacturers often add low quality biomass material in their briquettes which can impact the performance as well as the life of the system. 
and this is one of the reason why many industrial users are losing their trust on biomass briquettes gradually. The second problem is actually at the consumer side of using the briquettes. In most industries, biomass briquette is to be fed manually by the laborers inside the boilers and furnaces. Now, this poses a serious threat to the workers' safety and also it's an inefficient way of uh, putting the biomass fuel inside the furnace. In the recent times, there has been an increased demand from the industries to move toward automation. And biomass briquette is a difficult fuel to be automated. That is the reason why many industries have now started moving towards other biomass fuels which are compatible with automatic fuel feeding systems, which includes loose biomass and biomass like pellets, estillas, wood chips, etc. So to conclude, biomass briquetting is a good way of increasing the bulk density of the biomass fuel and improves its uh, handling and uh, storage. However, it also has certain disadvantages such as inconsistent quality and its incompatibility with most automatic fuel feeding systems.